forevermore Her mother the victim Of the red death with dominion over all Her brother held high Sunk by the fall of the house into the swamp Her sister crazed Driven mad by the deed and her deceit Which won her the death of her baby child Her father swallowed Eaten by the swirling mouth opened by the sea Her grandfather tore Betrayed by the eye he could not Wicked heart avenged by the beating which refused to cease. Her lover starved by the injuries which he had gladly dealt. My masonry is kept in, in peace and quiet and secret, fermenting with the wine. She crept and searched and was found alone in the stables among the woods. Fair and bright and lovely, she was taken up and promised safety from the eye of providence. Led into the tower, studied every night in every way. Now I stay in her eyes, hung near the window by my lantern side. The raven croons and applauds my foresight. In the dangers of housing unfortunate souls, the charging rats advance now, become one with the raven and cry never more. Seeking Annabelle, her face hides no sadness within my strokes. I have no time to dote or dream, for death is coming for me. The devils fell the lantern, a fire is caught by my bed sheets. I cannot hold fast now to the stones of memory bare on the floor. I clench the heart of darkness, slashed by the merciless pendulum. Dragged into the pit, the eyes of my sweet angel cry for me. And so squawks the raven forever more forever